Major. Does the president think this should be federally mandated? Vaccines across the country for this set and other sets of child uh, diseases? Well, Major, we do have a, a, a tradition, uh, and there's a long track record in this country, of these kinds of uh, health issues being administered by state and local officials. Uh, this is something that we went through uh, at the end of last year uh, related to Ebola, uh, that, the, that the monitoring that was in place uh, was something that was strongly recommended by federal public health officials at the CDC, but ultimately we were relying on state and local partners to carry out that monitoring. And that is a good indication of how uh, federal public health officials and state and local public health officials work together. That both that the federal government can be relied upon for good scientific advice. There's a whole uh, wealth of institutional knowledge that's contained at the CDC. That there are significant resources that are devoted by the federal government to doing the kind of research that at research at the NIH uh, and other places where we can make sure that the best scientific advice that is known to man uh, can be made available to uh, state and local health uh, public health officials. Uh, and ultimately, that's uh, the way that this system uh, has operated for generations. Now, I, well, what I also know is true, and th is that there uh, is a lot of case law around this, and this is something that people have challenged, I think, on both sides of this issue. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, I did have a chance to speak to the president about this issue shortly before the briefing, uh, and he was clear that we don't need a new law; we need people to exercise common sense. So the federal government does not need to establish a mandate for vaccines. Just recommendations I, and advice to states I think the and parents on the side. What the president is saying we shouldn't have to, that the science is clear uh, and it is, it is irresponsible for people to not get their children vaccinated, not only because it puts their children at risk of getting the measles, uh, it also puts at risk uh, the uh, children, other children in their community, if it's infants who are too young <laughs> to get the vaccine uh, or children who have compromised uh, immune systems that they can't get the the vaccine. So uh, people need to take responsibility, not just for their kids, but for the kids in their community.